podcast. And uh, like, if you have any questions for Mel, if you have any questions for Kitty, if you have any questions for Alexandra, just drop them in the chat box and our amazing, our amazing speakers will attend to your questions at the end of the podcast. So you know what, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the next speaker, but before I speak, I always, always share my bio. So please enjoy, I will come back and speak. I want you, as you think about your dreams and goals, to put this down. Rise to greater heights. Rise to greater heights. Because you need to be clear about, about your career goals in order for you to gain guidance on professional development. Really, my goal as a mentor or, or, or as a coach is so simple. My goal is to study your current situation, identify limiting beliefs and other potential obstacles that you might be facing, and then design a plan of inspired action to empower you to pursue uh, success and drive sustainable. I think whosoever said that the sky is the limit was wrong. From today on, I, Dr. Riel and Kunene, believe that the sky is our point of view. Mom. So I think whosoever said that the sky is the, the limit was wrong. From today on, I, Dr. Riel and Kunene, believe that the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. of you so let's all rise to greater heights rise to greater heights dr nam kumalelo real kunene is an international human rights policy analyst who consults on policies and procedures related to human rights compliance she is a highly sought after energetic certified Lace Brown international speaker. This passionate leader holds a PhD with a discipline in leadership and business. Dr. Rial N. Kunene is the author and host to Rise to Greater Heights, a book and YouTube channel to turn your fears into greater success while seizing new opportunities. She is also a coach, mentor, and an MC well known for encouraging many to rise from mediocrity into greatness. Her vision is not only to motivate, but also to empower audiences with a fresh perspective inspiration they require to pursue success and drive sustainable outcomes. In a seriously funny way, Dr. Kunene is an award-winning author, 10 times number one Amazon and international best-selling author. Her number one best-selling book, Rise to Greater Heights, has inspired and empowered many to pursue through their personal and professional passion to become go-getters. As a trainer, diplomacy protocol officer, and strategist, Rial believes that we are in full control of our choices. Her mission is to meet the needs and transform lives of her clients and her audience. She is also a true advocate for creating new policies that uphold human rights and prevent human rights violations. Dr. Kunene's purpose is to teach everyone about human rights and help organizations understand and promote human rights. Her goal is to study your current situation, identify limiting beliefs, <coughs> then design a plan of inspired action to empower you to achieve specific outcomes in your life. This change maker, trailblazer, and revolutionary is pushing boundaries and creating a real change worldwide. Like a phoenix that never accepted defeat and rose from its own ashes, she wants to challenge you to unleash your greatness and rise to greater heights. Dr. Rial N. Kunene wears many hats. As a professional certified sales manager, CEO, certified travel counselor, publisher, medical aesthetician, philanthropist, and a commissioner for oaths, following her dreams gave her purpose to see her goals through and understand that she does have everything she needs to reach her full potential. Her everyday message is that your journey to be a better person starts with you. So knowing who you are to your core will make you understand that you are the only one who can accomplish your dreams. Hebrews 11, Psalms 27 and 40 keeps her to rise to greater heights. The sky is no longer the limit, but now the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. Kings and queens, please join me. Welcome, Dr. Rial N. Kunene. Thank 
you. Thank you so much, amazing speakers. You know, you've set the bar high for me. As I was listening through your messages, I'm like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit in your shoes, but you know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Like Kitty mentioned that, um, she mentioned everything, why mental and physical clutter are the minds, our energy and our finances and ultimately our business's bottom line. And then Mel, Mel on the other side, she shared the three anchors that keep us in the mediocracy and also how to strategically embody our intuitive gifts. And then Alexandra, she was like, you know what? As women, we become resilient and we set boundaries. So it's, it's high time we bounce back to life, draw our mindset, our intuition, our healing and purpose and find manifestation in our life. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try and fit in those shoes because you ladies, you've just set the bar high. So please write this down, write this down resilience to greatness, resilience to greatness. You know, I've seen the approach to adversity that it play out in all walks of life and realize that resilience is truly the signature for greatness. Every great leader, what they are sold were once resilient. You may ask me why. I'm glad you've asked that because their stories of struggle often becomes lesson in how to stay strong. Like Oprah Winfrey once said, turn your wounds into wisdom. So great leaders believe in a cause bigger than themselves and were persistent in order to achieve their goals. They define themselves by the impact and difficult challenges, but have been able to overcome them all. Good people, you, you really don't have to see the whole staircase in life, but you need to take, to take the first step to get to the top. As my mentor always say that you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to become great in life. So get started today because entrepreneurship is a journey full of all learnings and many bumps along the way. But finding our cause is the main aim of life with a healthy, healthy dose of resilience. So there is something admirable about people who keep going. No matter what kind of obstacle that they face in life, they keep going because they have resilience to succeed, which is uh, the fuel that we all need in order for us to get through the hard days. So it's a wake up call, good people. All these amazing speakers have shared more nuggets on how to bounce back to life, your resilience to greatness. It's a wake up call. But when that alarm clock goes off, please, please don't ever hit the snooze button. Don't be like, I will wake up in the next two minutes. I will wake up in the next four minutes. You know what? It's, it's your time to get going wake up and get going. It's your time to bounce back to life. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share like five key ways in order for you to focus on to develop a greater level of resiliency. If you, if you can just write it down. The first one, you'll have to learn from discomfort. When you're going through tough times in life, it is easy to lose your cool. But I believe that we need to learn from the most uh, discomfort area of our life and rethink what required for us to be successful. Number two, you'll have to be willing to create resiliency. And you may ask me why or how can I do that? Because most of our, ch uh, most of our challenges will cause us to grow in some way. So learning to deal with and address adversity is what creates resilience. Number three, you'll have to stay committed to what matters the most in your life because our struggles can often put things in a better perspective and overcoming such adversity is character building. Number four, you'll have to build your external resources because adversity help us to find a body. We need people for our emotional and mental support. So you'll have to build those ex external resources. Number five, don't accept it. Don't accept it, I repeat, because we will never rise higher than expectations we have for ourselves if we're going to accept that adversity is inevitable. So don't ever accept that adversity is inevitable. So you'll have to use all, all these uh, five key ways that uh, I've shared with you in order for you to focus on to develop a greater level for resiliency. As flight attendants always say that put on your oxygen mask first before you assist others, because if you don't, 
you and the other person you're trying to help could possibly go down. So put on that oxygen mask first by learning these uh, uh, five key ways on how, how, how you can actually bounce back to life because resilience is the very essence of each of our greatness. And it is in the learning that comes from it that creates the opportunity for growth. Sometimes it can bring out your best or your worst, but it's from these places where we grow the most. From the beginning of, uh, of time until now, people have been grasping for greatness. So in order for you, in order for all of us to go from the bottom of the stairs to, uh, to the top, we need to take the first step. There is no other way that you can find yourself at the top of the stairs if you didn't take the first step. So greatness comes from, uh, like with me, I'm a firm believer of God. It comes from uh, depending entirely on God or your creator. Because my everyday book, it says that the stone that the builders rejected has become the capstone. The stone that the builders rejected has become the capstone. So uh, your creator can take you as the least from all the men and he can make you great. But if we try to become great on our own efforts, we will eventually fail. Because I believe that greatness in Jesus' eyes is serving the needs of others. And this is the true part to greatness by blessing many lives around you as you can. That's the true part to greatness. You know, it's so funny how my mom and dad gave me this beautiful, beautiful name, Nompumelelo. I know many when they try to say my name, Nompumelelo, they always butcher my name. And I'm used to that. But Nompumelelo, really, Nompumelelo, in my own language, it means mother of all success. So now you can see that I am really, really challenged to chase after success. No matter what comes my way, I'll have to chase after success. So if I may ask you, how many of you have dreams and goals that you want to achieve? Maybe, let me say, in the next six months. I know myself, I am one of those people who has... Uh, the short-term goals, the long-term goals. So I want you, as you think about your dreams and goals, to put this down. Rise to greater heights. Rise to greater heights. Because you need to be clear about your career goals in order for you to gain guidance on professional development. So as a coach or as a mentor, like many of us here, my goal is so simple. My goal is to study your current situation, identify limiting beliefs and other potential obstacles that you might be facing and then design a plan of inspired action to empower you to achieve specific outcomes in your life. That's all I need. I just want to see movement and growth. I so wish that you could just tell yourself that you know what, all these speakers have shared the nuggets that you really want, uh, you, you really want in your life in order for you to bounce back to, uh, to, uh, to, to bounce back to life. But in order for you to bounce back to life, you've got to be hungry. You've got to be hungry like the hungry lion in, in the jungle. That hungry lion in the jungle, really, it doesn't matter what kind of animal comes his way. It doesn't matter if you're the giant elephant or that small squirrel by the jungle. All that hungry lion sees in front of his face is lunch. It's so funny because even with elephants, when they, when they see a lion, what they do is that they run. It's all about the mindset. Once you believe, you become. They already told themselves that, you know what? I'm a lunch to that lion. So each and every time when I see a lion, I'll have, to, I'll have to run. I believe that's the lion mindset that we need in order for us to bounce back to life. But I believe that we all rise together and we rise by lifting each other up and tearing anyone down. We're only here to fix each other's crown. I'm so glad that we're all, we're all queens here. We're here to fix each other's crown. So there is no way that you can just tear anyone down. You know, it's so funny when I was in the eighth grade. When I was in the eighth grade, I was uh, nicknamed Phoenix. I was nicknamed Phoenix after writing a composition using uh, the idiomatic expression that says, I rose from the ashes like a phoenix bird, meaning I became successful again. Really, that English teacher, she didn't know that the nickname Phoenix, it resonates with me. And it also aligns with my destiny. So for those of you who don't know the phoenix bird, the phoenix is a Greek mythological bird believed to rise uh, from its own ashes after being buried like hundreds of years ago. This immortal creature acquires new life by rising from the ashes of its own ancestor which represents our capacity for vision and success. I want to encourage you, if you are watching and listening under my voice today, I just wanna encourage you that when your world comes crashing down, wear your scars to show how a phoenix feels like to die from inside and trust in your own capability to rise from your own ashes. Since the phoenix has to die, burn experience paid before resurrection from its own ashes. 
please, please write this down, write this down in conclusion. Resilience to greatness. I have a reason why you love to repeat this, resilience to greatness. And I know you've heard this before that your setback is your setup for your comeback. Your setback is your setup for your comeback. So if I can be honest with you, I don't know what goals you've set for the next six months. I don't know what dreams you have for your own future, but, but here's one thing I know about you. You are destined for greatness. Inside of you, God has put seeds of excellence. Those seeds are supposed to grow and flourish. But many people have become crippled by their past encounters. And some have stepped over other people to get to the top. But I believe that God has a better plan for every one of us. Your objective is what you were designed for and the reason why you live today. With God, I believe that we're all destined for greatness as long as we follow his strategy. This is when the growth commences because discovering your gift and following God's idea will make you understand that you have everything around you to reach to your full potential. My everyday inspiration, Mr. Les Brown, he once said, if you had to die today, at this very moment, at this hour, what dreams, what ideas, what visions, what goals, what skills, what talents, and what books will die with you? And the late Dr. Miles Monroe continued saying that the richest place on this planet is the cemetery, because that's where all the goals, all the visions, all the skills, all the talents have been buried. Honestly, I don't know about you, but with me listening to all these amazing messages, it just gave me sleepless, sleepless nights. And I remember it very well when I, uh, when I started journaling my first book, Rise to Greater Heights, which is a comprehensive guide to turn your fears into greater success while seizing new opportunities. And I didn't stop there. If you remember it very well, in May 25th, 2020, George Floyd died in police custody in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So I believe that we need to stand for a world where no one shall live in fear because of the color of their skin and where the criminal justice system treats everyone fairly and equally. Because you know what? I believe that everyone is born free and we are equal in dignity. So no one should ever be subject to such unjustified violence. And you may have to ask yourself that what's really holding me back? What's holding me back from uh, going confident in the direction of my dreams? Is it fear? Is it mediocrity? Is it procrastination, distraction? What's holding you back? Kings and queens, it's so essential to assess your goals progress. You need to be clear about your career goals in order for you to gain guidance on professional development. And you'll have to cultivate your mindset for success if you wanna pursue success cultivate your mindset for success because you can always bounce back to life. That's resilience to greatness. So with all these books, I believe that they have the potential to completely revolutionize every aspect of your life and career. And I also have a free transformation guide for you. It's available on my website, www.risetogreaterheights.com because growing up, I didn't have much in life because my father decided to have an early departure from this planet Earth. And I thank God that I missed that flight because I'm still here. I'm still preaching my message today because I had everything because of my mama's love. And I love you, love you so much, mom. So I think whosoever said that the sky is the limit was wrong. From today on, I, Dr. Riel and Gunene believe that the sky is our point of view. So let's all rise to greater heights. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, amazing speaker. So at this moment, once again, feel free to share your final thoughts with the audience and how the audience can reach out to you. And once again, if you have any freebie, any event, any book that you want to promote today, the floor is yours. So I'm going to start with you, Kitty. The stage is yours. You're muted. <laughs> I am I am absolutely floored by by your profound message. Thank you so much for that. That, that um, I need to process this for a little bit, and I invite anyone who's watching to really rewind and take heed and and really process what Raelle had to say. Um, all right, I'll pull it back now. <laughs> um, Thank you again so much for having me. And if, uh, don't forget, uh, final final words. If you are faced with, as Rao says, adversity, remember that you are resilient, and um, it a lot of it just may be mental clutter. So simplify your life wherever you can. 
so that you can get rid of that. And if you'd like help with that, sometimes it starts with the physical. Just download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical mental clutter, available at declutterthebrain.com. And you can find me on social channels, all of them. <laughs> Thank you. Declutter the brain. Go out there and declutter the brain, good people. Get the seven steps on how to actually declutter the brain from uh, Kitty. Uh, visit her website. I believe she's also going to share on, um, once maybe she's done, she's going to share on the social media where we are live on Facebook, the link on how to get this, these seven steps because you will need this. Thank you, Kitty. You can go ahead, uh, Mel, and share with the audience, please. Mm, I love being around like-minded women. My soul is so full right now. What a wonderful... It is 2 a.m., but it was completely worth staying up. It was delightful yeah. to meet you all, ladies. Um, concluding thoughts. I wrote a couple down as you spoke. You inspired me. Um, resilience is beyond our safety zone. But unfortunately, the mind web of our belief system mm -hmm. stops us feeling comfortable to face the fears that we think perceive to be outside that safety zone. So if you would like to address some of those things that are holding you back, anything that you're being held back from in life, I am a quantum mindset coach and I'd love to partner with you and just have a chat. Just have a look to see what might work with you. I don't do sales. <clears throat> That's not me. I'm an empath. I love just con connecting and communicating with people. So reach out if you'd like to have a chat and know more about empathpreneurship. Oh, wow. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Mel. Good people, go out there, reach out to Mel, the Ambrose Ambassador. You need this. You need her for sure. She's going she, she's gonna to hold you accountable for your actions. So go out there and reach out to Mel. Thank you, Mel, for sharing. Uh, you can go ahead, Alexandra, and share with the audience, please. Yeah, well, thank you all, ladies. And I'm really... Um moved by your thoughts and uh, I like to be also in, uh, in like-minded people which is really important to surround with yes and yeah you can also visit my website www.quantumbusinessleaders.com everything is there and I would love to help you if you don't know where the root is coming from why are you blocking yourself I can really help you to remove these blockages and to see what's holding you back to not reach for the stars, to hone into your purpose and to be driven by this purpose. And also, yeah, reach me out and I would love to help you uh, just for a chat, just uh, to, free, to book a free call with me and I would love to help you. Wow, wow. Thank you, Alexandra. Good people. If you can see the path, uh, don't think that the path is not there. You have someone who will, who will help you, hold you, take those baby steps in the right direction. And that's Alexandra. So go out there and reach out to Alexandra because you need her service. You need her. You really, really need her. I can't emphasize this. So thank you so much to our amazing speakers. And thank you so much to our audience. Wow, wow. They've been really, really inspired by all of your messages. I can see Princess, she's watching. She's saying powerful, powerful message, Queens. And Pearl Gombo is watching. Oh my goodness. Our audience have been really, really moved by your messages. So thank you so much for, you know, for being with us here today at Rise to Create a Heights, amazing speakers, just to take that 90 minutes of your time from your busy schedule, I know, to just to be here with us today, it means a lot. It means the world to us. So thank you. Thank you for accepting me. From your busy schedule, I know, to just to be here with us today, it means the world. It means the world. <laughs> Okay, Kitty, <laughs> she, was, she was on another network. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you so much. And to our amazing audience online, really, 
It's been a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for joining us here uh, at Rise to Greater Heights Network, where you can turn your fears into greater success while seizing new opportunities. I hope from all these amazing messages, from all these amazing speakers, you've been inspired, you've been motivated, and you are